It's finally, finally done. After all this time, in multiple different videos, you guys have seen War Turtle, and you have seen all the different things we've gone through. We're going to go through what we've done to this vehicle and how much we've spent to get it this far. Let's take a look. Okay. For those of you who haven't been keeping up, this is my 2004 Turbo S Beetle. And I actually got it from Hoovy. He found it at auction. He sent me a picture and I couldn't resist. And I said, yes, I will take it. Once I got it, I realized the poor little thing was on death's door. It really was just that small amount of a push. It would have been in the salvage yard. It wasn't that far from being junk. If I had to have a shop do everything that I've done to this, it really wouldn't have been financially feasible. And it's really great that I'm not Hoovy from Hoovy's Garage because I would have had to pay and foot the bill to get this whole thing fixed. And it would have cost more to fix it than it would have to just go find a nice one and buy it. It really would have been not worth the time, I think. Where'd you come from? Well, I, my ears were burning. Your ears were burning. Are you calling me a moron or something? No, I'm just saying I fixed this myself and saved a lot of money. Well, aren't you special? <laughs> okay. Those are nice sunglasses. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, I gifted this thing. I found it at auction for you for, what, was it $700? Yeah. It was, it was, like I said, it was on death's door. Yeah. Well, how much would I have spent if I had decided I love this thing, I'm going to keep it. It's mine. Probably over, yours. probably over four grand. <laughs> four thousand dollars. Yeah. Uh, okay. There was a lot of pluses and a lot of minuses when I found this. Most of them to begin with were minuses. When we went to test drive it and we would decelerate and let off the gas, you could hear the transmission making these horrible noises. Luckily it ended up just being a small shim that you can put on the side. It goes through the wheel well here. It totally took care of it. But let's start at the nose of this thing and work our way to the back and talk about what was broken, what had to be fixed, and some of the modifications I've done along the way. Man, you know it's a hot day when Wizard starts to have back sweat. That's, that's the scale of hot today. It is pretty hot out. Yes. Very humid. Yes. Okay. Oh, you put a sticker. Yeah, timing belt sticker. Hey. Here goes oh. another muffler caught us. Yep. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of muffler interruptions. Newton, people don't put mufflers on their cars. No, they, they seem like mufflers are optional in Newton. <laughs> so, I see this. Yep, yes. I did a timing belt and a water pump. Okay. So this is the 1.8 liter Turbo S version of this engine. You can get just the turbo version of the Beetle, and it's like 150 horsepower, but this one's 180 stock, being the Turbo S model. One of the things I did, since I had no knowledge of history of this car, was the timing belt and water pump, like Hoovy just pointed out on the sticker. That's not something I wanted to chance. I wanted to make sure that was done. That alone probably would have been twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300 just to get that done. Huh. Okay. Okay, what else? Are these interference engines? Yes. Okay, so snapping would be very, very, very Yeah, bad. that's not something I wanted to chance. Okay. Okay. Well, there was one thing that we did to, to solve the misfire was the coils. Right. There was one coil, because this, this little weird thing needed to come out of the way. Yes? Yep. We put new coils and plugs on it and it totally solved the misfire. Nice. That alone right there probably would have been 300 bucks. $300. Okay. Yep. Yes. Coils and plugs. We did all the fluids, antifreeze, transmission, engine, brake fluid. Everything's been changed out on War Tortle. That would probably have been about five or six hundred bucks, parts and labor. Sounds about right. We're creeping up on that four thousand dollars pretty sure quick. Are. Yes. And we yes. haven't even got out of the engine bay yet. No, no, you're not done. Was no. there any leaks? I think, or was it a leak or two? Yeah, there was a valve cover gasket leak, but we took care of that with the timing belt and mm -hmm. all that stuff. One thing that turned out to be a plus is that I kept noticing after I get all the engine mechanicals fixed or taken care of. It really had more power than I thought it should. It, I mean, it moved fast, really fast. I did put a turbo back exhaust system on this and it has a flow master. We'll take a look around the back of it here in a little bit and show the little, you can see the exhaust tips to kind of free up some power. I hooked my scan tool to it and watched the desired PSI and the actual PSI. 
This engine should be asking for 12, 13 PSI, but it was asking for 20 and sometimes 21 and 22. That only happens with a tune. Mm. And no check engine lights. Mm. It's totally happy. It, it was asking for 20 and meeting 20. Mm. And that explained to me why it was way faster than what I was used to. One or two of these I've driven before. Yes. So I was very excited to find out. That was a positive thing. The clutch is in good shape. I've had no issues with the clutch. And like I mentioned, I did put the shim on the transmission to take care of some of the noise that, that way. It had a weird suspension noise, I think, right? Right. I had to replace the struts up front. They were completely just shot. Yes, and, and this was... Wasn't this all ratty? Yeah, and this little grill down here was all ratty. It was gray and nasty looking. So you cleaned that up? I cleaned it up. I repainted, took the little grills out, repainted them. Nice. So kind how much of, would that uh, have been? Probably a couple hundred bucks. A couple hundred bucks and yeah. more struts. That was expensive too. A strut job on this would probably have been about 600 bucks. Goodness. Okay. So you're starting to see as we go along, we haven't even left the engine bay yet and we've exceeded the value of the car almost. <laughs> if you were paying if for I, it. If I were paying if for you it. Were paying this for is it. interesting education because now I'm seeing how much money you make off of me. <laughs> right at the end. And then I make videos and double the money. Right. Great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let's get this closed and take a look at the interior. So in a video, you see me do the headliner. And although my methods were pretty good, the fabric I chose was really bad. It was a bad choice. I, uh, I got everything glued up to the, the headliner board and then it started to peel off again. It's because the back of the fabric was like hair and the hair would just tear and start pulling off again. I actually peeled off everything that I did. I got so frustrated and I took it to Lowen Upholstery here in Newton. They do very good work for a very good price. And I just said, here's the headliner board. Just, just do it, just get it done. And they did. You failed at something? I failed. The wizard? Well, the fabric failed. You, you need to grow that beard a little longer and add upholstery to it, I guess, huh? Mm hmm Beard of knowledge failed you. It did. So it has nice new headliner fabric on it. It does look nice. It's not all drooping down anymore. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a matching color. So I got that taken care of. There is one thing in thinking of the dash. I'm looking at the dash. My temperature dial does not work because the flap inside the dash is broken, which is very common on all models of Beetles of this year. I have the heater core, a valve, where I just turn it off and turn off the heat. And my AC works fine, and in the winter my heat will work fine. But as you can see, as you look across the dash, it is crack-free, scratch-free, in very good shape. And I know for a fact, don't knock on it, Hoover, you're going to break it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like those little Dodge Rams where they're solve just turns to glass. Yeah. Yeah, I know if I pull this dash to solve my temperature dial selection issue, it's going to just crack. It's going to be a worm, opening a can of worms. Mm. So I'm just going to live with the dial the way it is. That's the one thing broken I'm going to leave. And you say always leave something broken. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I will leave that one thing broken. I'm not going to mess with that. I have installed a Crux Bluetooth module on my stereo. And I can use my phone, listen to Pandora on my tunes through the stock Monsoon radio. That sounds really, really good. I've been enjoying the nice six-speed. I thought about putting a short throw shifter on it, but I think it shifts just fine the way it is. The bushings aren't worn out. It works really well. I'm going to leave that alone. But I haven't had to do too much in the interior. Amazingly, the seats were de decent. These are a little cracked on the drivers, and it has some tears right here. I may address that in the future, but for now, it's my daily driver. I probably will leave that alone. So how much did you spend in here? That was 250 to get the headliner done. Mm. The Bluetooth module was 90. And you got a gift too, didn't you? Yes. Huh. I have the gift right in front of me. Here you see a picture of a yellow beetle. Someone sent me a little gift for this car. Let me read the, the note here and then we'll go get to that. Car Wizard, we love the series on War Turtle. Not the fastest car, but it's the whole package. You're missing one thing that all new beetles need, a flower. We got you a blue one with the VW Vaz to match War Turtle. Hope you enjoy it. JR, Adela, and Banana, 07 Beetle. Wasn't that nice? It was very nice. Let's take a look at what they gave us. Well, people don't usually send me gifts except for used underpants. Used underpants? I get that in the mail all the time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nasty. I know. This is a OEM VW Vaz or Vase. 
there's the vase. Let's put it in its place. Just like that. Nice. And here's our little blue VW flower. Oh, it's an original packaging. Oh. Okay. Look at that. Thanks, JR and Adela. I guess banana. The really cool flower. I guess that completes the package inside of here, huh? Yes. It's lovely. Lovely. Another gift that a Car Wizard fan sent me was this little decal. It's War Turtle, the Pokemon character, but he has, a, he has a wizard hat. That's so cute! It is cute. cute. I definitely put that on there because that's the, the name of this car is War Turtle. Yeah. It has new badges front and rear. These are supposed to have the black or carbon colored ones, but I went with the china blue and white. It looks like fine china on silver. I think it looks really good. That's the colors I wanted to go with. As you can see down here, here's our exhaust tip, twin stainless steel, and it sounds really, really good. I bet. So how much was that exhaust? If I had to have that done, it'd probably be about 400 bucks. $400. Wow. The car was uh, we saw the welding job done on that. Uh, it's not very good welding. I'm not, I'm not, I actually had Junior Mint do some of it, but. <laughs> <I'm> wife tell <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Thanks, Mrs. Wizard. The critic, yeah. yes, the director and uh, wife and editor yeah. and producer and. All, everything above, yes. uh -huh. except for the character talent. <laughs> <laughs> so, all this, it probably would have been over $4,000 if oh, I yeah. got it all up. Yep. To get it into the condition it is today, at least $4,000, wow. if not more. And how much do you think you spent just in parts? It, taking away your labor. Taking away the labor, parts, seventeen fifty, two dollars grand. So you're not even $3,000 into this thing? No. $2,500? Yep. Into basically an as new Turbo S. I mean, it is, the seat's a little tired, but yeah. I mean, otherwise beautiful. Yeah, and the little spoiler works. You can hear it clunking, which is what they all do. They clunk really loud. Nice. Clunk, clunk. That's amazing. Yeah, I can't complain. I really enjoy the car driving it around. I think Tyler should go test it. Tyler should go test it? Tyler should go test this. Ooh, switchblade. Yep. Yes. Sounds angry. AC. <laughs> yeah, air conditioning's good. All right. It does sound angry, wizard. Angry turtle. Black horse. Yep. So you fixed the air conditioning too. Yeah, that's another $300. That's nice. All right, let's do another pull here. Oh yeah. Slow down. It does do a little torque skier there. Yeah. Whee! That's great. Not bad for a little beetle. Huh? That's very precise. It's like a... It's like a baby Porsche. Yeah, like a Diet 911. <laughs> that's definitely what it is. A diet version of a 911. So I learned something today. What'd you learn? That uh, if I did a lot of work myself, I could save myself thousands of dollars and I wouldn't need a car wizard. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Please don't do that. Okay. I know that you won't because you'll get so angry. No, I'm an angry, frustrated mechanic. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, congratulations, wizard. Hopefully you keep this thing more than two weeks like you normally do. I've kept it longer than I normally would have. <laughs> you have. Yeah. Yes. It's a cool little car. It is cool. And now, now it has the flower to complete the package. It is. Wonderful. Okay, well, I don't want to go on this dirt road then. Oh, you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Just don't drive in the mud pits. Don't drive in the mud pit. Okay. And turn here. Yep. E brake test. It works. All right. Rally stage. <laughs> Poor little beetle. <laughs> it's, it's fixed. Yeah. It's great that it's not my car. I can drive it like this. <laughs> yeah. 
poor turtle is thinking, what in the hell just happened? <laughs> it's awesome. It's like a little go-kart. It is. <laughs> Super fun. I should have kept it. You I should have spent the four thousand dollars. You should have spent the four thousand. <laughs> it would have been worth it. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely going to keep it for a while anyway. No check engine lights, no warnings. No. Run super. You wonder why my cars break so often. <laughs> it's the Hoovy driving experience. I'm a good stress tester. Volkswagen should hire me. It's a nice car. Yeah, turned out really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you're not on it, you can just sit back and cruise. It's comfortable, smooth. It is, and the visibility is just great. It is, it's like a glass house. Glass all around. I like the headroom. Golf clap. Completed YouTube project. That's pretty rare these days. Yeah, there's not many of those on YouTube, is there? <laughs> Very good. This one's done. And I'm thankful to you for finding it for me. Like I said, when I saw the text message with the picture of this little guy, I said, gotta have it. And I'm glad I took it because it's a survivor. If you're curious what kind of tools I use to fix War Turtle, check my Amazon affiliates link below. There's everything listed, the kind of tools I use. No, not down there. Just quit thinking about used underwear. Okay. If you haven't hit the subscribe button already, go ahead and do that now. We've got many more projects to work on. Thanks for watching. There was some suspension stuff, right? Yes. Let me see, what did I do? Was it control arms? trying to remember. I don't even remember. It's been... He works on too many cars, he can't remember his own cars. Yeah. No, I don't think there was a whole lot of that. Or what was over there? And there was a little... The strut. Truck. The struts. Yeah? The struts were shot. That's mm -hmm. what it was. You didn't like my used underwear joke? Mm, no, I didn't mind it. <laughs> I thought it, it, didn't, it didn't phase you at all. You're just like... Yeah. Oh, cool. That's great, man. That's, yeah. <laughs>